I am so excited to be here uh, today. I've worked with Isabel for three years now, and um, it's so uh, magical to be here, to be around so many innovative people. And um, I'm gonna talk to you today about AI and sports. So I work for a sports marketing company called Octagon, and we partner, we actually represent talent like Michael Phelps and Simone Biles, and then we also have our brand side um, where we work with Delta and the Yankees and, and other big brands. But we, we work with this organization called Sports Innovation Lab, and they've helped with the research that you're about to see that I'm gonna share with you today. So the, the first thing, let's just talk, I know a, a bunch of the uh, speakers before me talked about what is artificial intelligence. For me, it's the creation of these intelligent machines that work like humans to analyze data. And right now in sports, the primary use of AI in sports is athlete performance and, and potential. So I'm gonna show you a, a little clip and I'll talk over the clip of what the Los Angeles Clippers are doing to analyze athlete performance so that they could help them in training and they could help them be better athletes. So it's a product that they're calling Court Vision. So if you look here, you could see some of the numbers that are changing on the fly with some of these athletes and they're monitoring who they are, what percentage that they're shooting at, where they're shooting, um, and, and how many shots that they're, they're taking. And they're just tracking all that. It's really incredible stuff. And we're gonna see more of this as sports um, starts to take on some of this technology. So, but AI is transforming sports in so many other areas. You got martial arts, you got track and field, fencing, you have soccer. There's so many different sports that are starting to look at um, AI and, and figure out how they could use it to their advantage. And the different areas that they're, they're working on right now, I'm gonna, talk a little, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about. So the areas of focus for me are around automated content creation, augmented reality, consumer engagement, my favorite, which is player tracking, and then valuation. So the first one here is automated content creation. So the Orlando Magic is working with a company called Automated Insights. And essentially they're using natural language generation to help with their, um, with their app. And essentially means that as a consumer for, for this app, I could get automated insights into that are specific to me as a consumer. I'm a fan of the Orlantic Magic. I'm gonna get a, a text that says, hey, Anthony, there's uh, one spot left in the, in the locker room. Would you, are you interested? That sort of personalized, customized um, messaging through AI is really beneficial. It's gonna help the sports industry and a lot of the leagues um, get personal with their, with their um, consumers. The second thing here is augmented reality. So this was at the Indian Wells Masters with Hawk, and the, um, the company that would, did all this tracking is a company called Hawkeye. I love this. So it's ball and player tracking. You can see those little markers up top over there. Not only does that help with broadcasters, but it also helps with um, a lot of the consumers watching. So now I could, sometimes tennis is hard to watch. I could see where the balls are placed. and and you're starting to see this a lot more in sports overlaid on top of the broadcast, which is really nice. The third is consumer engagement. So Dr. Pepper reached out to a company called Fan AI, and they wanted to find, they wanted to do a sports sponsorship with an esports team. So what they did was they reached out to Fan AI, and they basically said, how can we find all the people that are fans of Dr. Pepper and how can we match that to some of the best esports teams and find their fans as well? So through AI, they found an esports team that had a similar social following to Dr. Pepper. And what that means is that when they post something, there's gonna be better engagement. So that's how AI was used to find, that's how uh, artificial intelligence was used to help um, Dr. Pepper. And they used, they worked with, um, they finally found someone called Team Solo Mid that uh, has been really beneficial to them. 
player tracking. This is my favorite. This is what everybody, these are what, this is my, I have three young kids at home, and when we sit down and watch sports, this is what gra that they gravitate to the most. Um, player tracking is, you know, with Alibaba and Intel, they plan to release this 3D athlete tracking for uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And essentially, athletes years ago used to wear a lot of uh, tracking mechanisms on their arms and their legs and their head in order to be analyzed. Right now, with, with these two companies, they're doing it through video, which is really nice because they could see motion without having to put objects on the athletes, which, and sometimes, if you have Steph Curry or Michael Phelps, especially Michael Phelps, you can't, you can, sometimes the, the tracking doesn't, tr it, you know, whether it be, um, um, you know, an arm brace or a leg, uh, a leg strap, it doesn't get every part of the body. So when you have video analyzing it, it really does get that natural fluid feel for that human that they could analyze for uh, athlete performance. So this one I'm very excited about, and you'll see a lot of this at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And then this last one, valuation. NASCAR worked with this company, Hive.ai, where they've evaluated logo clarity and location on the, um, on the track here. So you can see as the video is going on, the, the computer is analyzing the cars and where the logos are placed and how often they're showing up in, in the video. And um, we use this a lot at Octagon to help our, brand, our clients uh, evaluate whether or not something's, they're getting the most bang for their buck in their sponsorship. So uh, it's really cr incredible technology that um, I'm excited about to, to see how, how it grows. And then the last thing that I'll leave you here uh, with is by 2025, the AI market is expected to reach $169 billion. So it's a marathon, and we're only getting started. So I'm really excited. Uh, if anyone has any questions, you can reach me at BePositive on Twitter. And uh, thank you very much for this opportunity.